Good morning. How are you? Is everything okay? Yes, teacher. We will continue to learn the basic of meteorology. Today, we are going to learn atmosphere and its composition. Definition of atmosphere. The title is Definition of Atmosphere. First of all, I will give you the definition of atmosphere. Later, I will mention about its composition. Atmosphere is generally described as a gas sphere that surrounding, covering the world. The lava, the base limit of atmosphere is Earth's surface. But there is no upper or top limit of it theoretically. In this lesson, we will accept the limits are lower base limit is Earth's surface and upper top limit is where the atmospheric pressure is zero or stable. New title is Composition of Atmosphere. Composition of atmosphere has dominantly nitrogen about 78% and oxygen about 21% and other gases about 1%. Amounts of gases are not important for us. Because I would like you to know especially dominant gases names which are nitrogen and oxygen. As I said before, I am trying to teach you this lesson according to your main subject that is civil aviation management. Don't hesitate, don't worry to stop me and ask any questions about the lesson or anything related to our lesson. Now, if you don't have any questions, let's move on. Okay, teacher. New title is Structure of Atmosphere. First of all, we need to know characteristics of gases. All gases are described according to their temperature, pressure, and density characteristics. What are they? What is temperature? What is pressure? And what is density? Can anyone tell me what temperature is? Think that you have a younger or baby cousin and she or he asks you, Uncle, uncle, what does temperature mean? Um, temperature is the light which is coming from the sun, teacher. As you see, it is really easy to explain it. Please always think simple as your explanation. Don't think complicated and don't make anything hard. Thank you. Now, I'm going to continue the basic explanation of temperature, pressure, and density. Temperature shows the activity of molecules, relatively heating of gases. Pressure shows the force on a standard flow in a known temperature and density conditions. Density shows the total amount of materials in a standard volume. Principally, weight of the air is getting heavier when it approaches to the ground. Sunlights are absorbed by the ground, so layers which are close to the ground are getting hot first. However, it is not correct in real we will accept generally weather is getting cold by height. 
It means when you climb, increase, the weather will get cold. Now, the new title is Layers of Atmosphere. It can be classified according to temperature, weight of molecules, composition, etc. Because of this, you can see or find lots of different classifications of atmosphere. Every subject classifies it according to their main aim. In this lesson, we will accept five main layers, which are 1. Troposphere 2. Stratosphere 3. Mesosphere 4. Thermosphere 5. Ionosphere I am going to draw it on the board. As you see on the board, our principle, which is temperature is getting cold by height, is not correct. It is only correct in troposphere. Now, we are going to learn the layers again. I am going to teach you what is important according to your subject. One troposphere. It is the most important layer for civil aviation purposes or activities. Generally, all civil flights happen in this layer. 2. Stratosphere. It is characteristically known with its ozone composition. Most of the ozone are in this layer. Sunlight first have reaction with ozone, so we see the increase in heat in this layer. And you can see how it reacts on the draw. 3. Mesosphere There is no heating source in this layer. Upper layer of this layer is approximately minus 80 or minus 100 degrees centigrade and it is known as the coldest point of atmosphere. Again, if you look at the draw, you can see the coldest point is in the mesosphere. 4. Thermosphere Lower layer of thermosphere, temperature increases slowly, but when it approaches the upper layer of it, temperature is about 1000 or 2000 degrees centigrade. And the last layer, 5 ionosphere. Sunlight are directly approaches to this layer. So, the temperature is very high in this layer. We don't expect any meteorological events in this layer. To summarize all, sun is the main source of everything. Its distance and position according to the world are forming everything. It causes molecules activities then everything happens in continuous chain. Now I have some basic questions. They are who can draw the layers on the board? Teacher, I can draw the layers on the board. Okay. Is it correct? If no, come and correct it. All right. How temperature 
reacts in these layers. Uh, it depends the layers, teacher, because uh, the most important uh, layers is ionosphere, and the sun is the main source of everything to these layers. Yes, uh, they are correct, but they are not the answer what I exactly want. The temperature, as you see in the draw, mm -hmm. reacts in every layer differently. Mm -hmm. In troposphere, it is getting cold mm -hmm. by the heat, by the height. Then in stratosphere, again by height it's getting hot, and again mesosphere, it has the coldest point, mm -hmm. and later on in thermosphere, then the ionosphere, it is getting very very hot mm -hmm. because of the position of the sun, as you said. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. And these are all today. See you next week.